Welcome back to Space of Grace today. Your sister in the challenges, the possibilities, and the victories on this journey called life. Our hope is that you will find wholesome morsels that will whet your appetite and leave you thirsting for more of God. Healing grace for the wounded souls. No matter how we shield ourselves from emotional distresses, the inevitable happens and we get wounded. Whether intentional or unintentional, an unseen wound leaves a much deeper scar on the walls of our hearts. Pain emanating from the soul is not easily quieted and is an indicator that something is very, very wrong. It is the epicenter that houses the mind, the will, and emotions, and it bears the stains of life's struggles. Psalms 4 verse 23 admonishes us to umpire or above all else, to guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. You know, I could remember being at a Bible study all put together on a Saturday morning. I was just going through the motions, literally hiding behind a cover girl makeup mask. A wounded soul I was, covered with scars, scabs of old relationships, spiritually bound, Loaded and laden heavy with daddy issues, feelings of abandonment and rejection. But one can only hide for so long until the Spirit of the Lord takes the cover off of our mess. Reluctantly, I participated in the worship, and before long, I found myself down on my knees in the midst of the singing. A force greater than myself had brought me to my knees, weeping like a mother who had just lost her child. And it was in that very moment that the Holy Spirit pierced my heart with the words of this song. We fall down, we lay our crown at the feet of Jesus. Friends, that day, I knelt down at the throne of grace and felt the concentrated presence of God around me, holding my heart. The years of toxic relationships had tipped the scale and it could be restrained no longer in the presence of a holy God. The playing field of my heart was leveled almost 11 years ago and my life has never been the same. You know, we ladies are good at keeping up appearances, but today I am calling you out on it. Time to keep it real before our Heavenly Father because He has the healing grace for every wounded soul. Offload that junk in the presence of the Lord. Disrobe your heart before Him and be assured that Jesus is able to restore and heal your wounded soul. Come boldly to his throne. Acknowledge you are hurting. Be transparent with God or a trusted prayer partner. Forgive yourself and forgive the one who has hurt you. In person, on paper, in biblical counseling sessions, or through professional intervention. But allow yourself to feel the pain. Surrender that pain to God. Jesus wept, Hannah wept, David wept. Mind God's word for truths to renew and heal your mind. Arm yourselves with spiritual weapons found in the word of God and stand your ground. Use your experiences to help others overcome. Stay connected to the body of Christ. Continue to study God's word as you grow in grace and share your testimony often. Today's reflection, 
Hebrews 4, verse 16. It reads, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Dear friends, don't fight the hands of God today as he takes the cover off your mess and pours out his healing grace to heal your wounded soul. Your sister in the journey until next time saying, be encouraged. This is your inspiration on the way.